First, let's watch the entire Nage no Kata. Tori stands to the left and Uke to the right facing shomen. They begin with a standing bow to shomen. They then face each other and perform seated bows. They then stand, take one step forward with their left foot, assume Shizen Hontai, then take another step to start Tewaza hand techniques. The first of the three Tewaza is Ukiyotoshi. Tori takes two large steps back and breaks Uke's balance to the front by pulling down strongly with both hands. Each of the techniques in Nage no Kata are executed twice, first from the right and then from the left. Seoi Nage. Uke attempts to strike Tori's tentacle or top of the head with his fist. Tori blocks the blow and seizes Uke's arm to throw him forward using his shoulder for leverage. Both knees should be straightened when executing the throw. Kataguruma. Tori uses his hips to lift Uke on his shoulders in one unified movement and throws him forward diagonally. Take care to perform the throw in the middle of the dojo. After finishing the three tewaza, both Tori and Uke return to their original positions and with their backs to each other quickly adjust their judogi. And now to the koshiwaza, or hip techniques. First, ukigoshi. Taking advantage of Uke's attempts to strike Tori's tento, Tori pulls Uke's hips towards him and twists to execute the throw. Harai Goshi. Tori presses his hip firmly against Uke's abdomen and throws him by sweeping upward against his leg. Tsurikomi Goshi. Tori grasps the back of Uke's collar, lowers his hips and presses them firmly against Uke's front thighs to throw him. After finishing the Koshiwaza, they proceed to the Ashiwaza foot and leg techniques. Okuri Ashi Harai. Upon grappling, Tori seizes the initiative and controls Uke while stepping sideways. On the third step, the Tori sweeps both of Uke's feet in the direction in which he is moving. Be careful not to make it a Deashi Harai. Sasai Tsurikomiyashi. Tori needs to turn his body outwards and pull hard to break Uke's balance. Tori applies the sole of his foot right above Uke's ankle to prop and throw him. Uchimata. Tori moves forward and on the third step draws Uke back diagonally in a wide circular motion. As Uke is about to shift his weight to his front foot, Tori presses the back of his thigh against Uke's inner thigh to reap and throw him. From Ashiwaza, we now move on to Masutemiwaza, the supine or rear sacrifice techniques. In Tomoe Nage, Tori takes three steps forward to off-balance Uke to the rear. As Uke resists by pushing back, Tori lowers his body and breaks Uke's balance directly to the front to throw him. Note that the transition from Tomoe Nage to Uranage is fairly quick. Tori arches his back, using the action of his hips and arms, and throws Uke over his shoulder. 
Sumi Gaishi. Tori attempts to break Uke's balance while maintaining his own jigotai or defensive posture. He takes one big step back and breaks Uke's balance to throw him. Tori applies the instep of his right foot against Uke's hikagami, behind the knee. And now the last category of nage no kata, yoko sutemi waza, yoko gake. Tori attempts to break Uke's balance by forcing him to shift his weight onto the outside edge of his foot. Tori then sweeps Uke's foot in a short, sharp motion, right under the ankle bone. Yoko Guruma. Taking advantage of Uke's attempt to strike Tori's tento, Tori breaks Uke's balance to the front, slides his leg in between Uke's legs and throws him. Timing is the key to this throw. Finally, Ukiwaza. Tori lowers his hips to ankle level and breaks Uke's balance diagonally to the front to throw. After completing the series of 15 techniques, Tori and Uke return to their starting positions and adjust their judogi. They face each other in Shizen Hontai, or the natural posture. In unison, they start stepping back, starting with the right foot, and kneel to perform a seated bow. They then stand, turn to face shomen, and perform standing bows, then exit. 